you next week with part two of the video. I dare you, live life. Peace. Oh man, everything falls on the ground. So that was part one and let's go to part two guys. I tried the first five bars. So if you want to see that video, click on this like like video right here. Click here on and you will see the part one. And you can hear my thoughts on these five candy bars. So I tried the Bueno one, I tried the Camera one, I tried the Oreo Milka bar and I've tried the Maltese Teaser's chocolate bar. Now it's time to get over to the last five what I think is gonna be my favorite ones. I've got the Kit Kat cheese cake flavor. So this is gonna be the first one that I'm gonna try out for you today. A cheesecake flavor chunky Kit Kat. So let's open and see the inside. I love these kind of Kit Kats because these are really big and chunky. Of course it gotta say Kit Kat on the chocolate bar. So here's a close up. Really chunky, really big and like a square, like a brick square. I've never had the cheesecake flavor so I'm, I'm kind of curious what, what the filling is gonna be. I, I don't expect much but I think it's gonna be really good. So Let's do it. Mm. And straight away when I bite into it, it has like a thick layer of chocolate around it. You can see the sides right here. It is. It has a lot of chocolate and you can notice or you can taste the chocolate. So I'm going to have another bite. I already already tried this one so I don't, I'm not going to eat all of it. So I'm going to have like one or two bites of it. So I'm going to try it again and give you my honest opinion on it. Mmm, you gotta, gotta love Kit Kat, but I'm gonna be honest, like, mm, I'm gonna do one more bite and that's really gonna be it. To be honest, I'm not sure what kind of filling it is. It's, it's not the same as the Oreo yogurt filling, but it has like almost the same flavor. I like cheesecake, I, I, I had no idea what to expect. It is good. But it's, I, I don't know, it's, it tastes like your normal Kit Kat, but a bit more filling. Not, I'm not sure guys. It is good. I love the texture. The chocolate is, is maybe a bit overpowering. It has more chocolate than the filling and you can taste the chocolate, which is good. It's not bad, but I want a balanced flavor of all of it. So it is good, but I think it's, it, I think I can compare it to the Oreo one. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of a 10. It is delicious, but it's nothing special. It's just your normal Kit Kat, which is good. I, nothing bad with that. A 7.5 is a good, good number. A good bar but nothing special. So now let's try out the next bar, which looks amazing, guys. Cote Dior. Cote Dior with the avocado filling. So I'm not sure. I think it's like a fruity filling. I don't like fruity fillings, but I love these packaging. I love packaging of this company, of this brand, because it looks like so warm. It looks like winter is coming. I don't know why, but I love the packaging on this. It is like dark. It is like cozy. Gives me a cozy, fe cozy feeling when I see this. So let's open it up and try this bad boy. So let's see. Oh, this is like really dark chocolate, which gets my like approval right away. So it's like block squares. With I, I think a lot of filling in this and it's dark chocolate guys. I love dark chocolate So these all had like milk chocolate. So let's see if dark chocolate will change the game. Here we go first bite Mmm ah, I knew it. I knew it. So here's a close-up of the bar. You can see some like yellow filling right there and guys It's not it's not bad like I can eat it, but it's not good. It's not good. You know those bonbons? I'm not sure how to call it, but small chocolate with like a cherry, uh, alcohol cherry flavor inside of it. This tastes just like that, but with a with not a cherry filling. It has like a, a strange aftertaste. It, I love the dark chocolate, but the filling is not good for me. I don't like this chocolate bar. I love the I love the packaging and I love the dark chocolate, but the filling has not my approval. It is good. I love the packaging. They sold me on that. This is not my favorite one, so I'm gonna give this a six, a six out of a ten. I I'm not sure. You need to like this filling, and it's not my favorite one. So a six out of a ten. I love the chocolate. I can eat it, but. I would choose all, all these over this one. So that was kind of disappointing. And now, guys, you told me to buy this bounty bar with dark chocolate. Last week, I did like a bio snack review and I had like a coconut chocolate bar. 
And I told you guys that that bar was familiar for, to me as the Bounty Bar, but I prefer the darker chocolate because it had, it had like dark chocolate. And then I got a lot of co comments like, there exists Bounty with dark chocolate. And I saw this and I had to buy it and I need to try it and just see which one is better. So let's open it up and see if it's really dark. You get the first look. Let's see, is it gonna be dark? Yes, guys, this is dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. And this looks like the bar that I had on my review video with that like texture on top of that. I love Bounty, I love the texture of the Bounty and the filling is like really coconutty. So let's do this, dark chocolate. Let's see if it's better than milk. Mmm. Oh yeah, I love Bounty. I don't know what it is, but I love the texture and the filling of a Bounty bar. You can see, I will, po I will put a picture on the screen or a comparison of the Bio Snack and this one. This bo normal Bounty bar is like white. It's like really white from texture and you can taste the coconut more than on the Bio one. And the chocolate cover is the same as the Bio one. Mmm. I really prefer the dark chocolate over the normal milk bounty bar chocolate. I, pre I like this one, it is really good. I'm gonna give it an eight out of a 10, it's delicious. I love the filling, but let's try this out. Flush it down with some milk, then try it. Mmm, and again. Mmm, mamma mia, best combination. And now I'm really excited because I'm going to try two bars that I've never tried before and I've seen a lot of people eat during their, their like cheat days. So I'm going to have, first off, let's try this one. The Crunchy Chocolate Bar. It's like a honey flavor wrapped in Cadbury chocolate. I'm not sure what Cadbury chocolate is, but I know this is, I think this is a UK snack. So look, this one goes to you. Let's just try out, let's open it and just try it out. So here's the close up of the chocolate bar. A normal chocolate bar, nothing special just like a normal chocolate bar. I hope this is really good. I've seen everybody eat this and everybody's like positive over it. So let's try it out. Crunchy chocolate bar. Oh my god. This is the filling of the crunchy chocolate bar. I had no idea what to expect of this chocolate bar and this is totally not what I've like what I thought it's, it's gonna be. So I thought it's gonna be like wafer, like a Kit Kat, like wafers and stuff like that. But this is a candy bar that I've never tried before. Let's try that. Oh my God, this is delicious. But one one thing straight away, it's like really sugary, which throws you off a bit. But when you bite into it, listen to the crunch. Wow, it's like so flaky and it's really light. The candy bar is really light. It's like really hot. The filling is so crunchy, it's sugary. The chocolate, mmm. This is so delicious. This this is just a candy bar that I've never tried before. And this is not a thing that we have in Holland. So it's really delicious. Wow. But the only downside is like a bit too sugary for me. I, I think, yeah, I'm not sure guys. It is delicious, it is honey. I can taste somewhat of the honey flavor. This looks like a honey cone and it tastes like sugar, it tastes like honey. If they really went for that look for a honey cone, that is just amazing. And that like chocolate outside is tempered really well. It's like crunchy when you bite into it, you get the taste of the chocolate. But the balance is a bit off, but I love this one. This is delicious. Mmm, the best one I've had so far. I could eat this all day long. So I'm gonna give this a 9 out of a 10. It is delicious, guys. My favorite so far is the crunchy chocolate bar. But now, let's get over to the American candy bar, the Butterfinger. A crispy, crunchy, peanut butter chocolate bar. So from a UK chocolate bar to an American chocolate bar, let's see which one Fight. is better. Let's open it up. So this is like, ooh, this is really like a milk chocolate. So here's a close up, just a normal chocolate bar. And again, I'm so curious on this one. I hope this as again exceeds my expectation. The crunchy did, did it for sure. So let's do it, Butterfinger peanut butter chocolate bar.
Oh my god. Wow. Like, I don't know what this is with the, with the foreign, like, chocolate bars. This is the inside of the chocolate bar of the Butterfinger. It has like a peanut butter filling with a, with a way for a crunchy inside and covered in chocolate. I don't know what it is, but the chocolate bars we have are just normal chocolate with a filling. But this, this like, I don't know, the texture is just level over 9,000. I totally did not expect this filling. I thought it's gonna be a chocolate with like a peanut butter filling. You can taste the peanut butter, but it's not the same as the as the Reese's peanut butter. It's not the same as the nut bar, Reese's nut bar. And this crunch is really, it's like a really crunchy last bite right here. First off, a sip of milk. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't like expect these like these textures and these fillings. These are all like similar. It's like chocolate with a filling, but this is totally different. The crunchy has like a honeycomb like filling and this one also like a different filling. Something totally different. The peanut butter isn't as like dominant as the nut bar of the Reese's, which in one way it's really good because you get a balance but in one way I love peanut butter so the peanut butter could be overpowering in this for me so it, it is good but the crunch is a bit too much and I, I, I love the crunchy more than this one the Butterfinger so the UK wins right here the UK has a better like chocolate bar but I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of a 10. So this was basically the end of this chocolate bar review video. So this is part two, I made a part one. If you wanna check it out, go ahead, check it out. But this was totally not what I've expected. So here are my final thoughts, my final rating. Let's take rid of the glass and three, two, one. Ah, so here we go, the final result of this chocolate bar. I wasn't close, but I definitely had my favorite top, top two, top three of my candy, but what I thought was gonna be my favorite. So here are, this, are the ratings on the screen right now. And guys, I really recommend you trying these bars. And like, look, I'm really sorry I couldn't try or find the Twix cappuccino one, but I definitely will find it once in my life so this one wasn't good at all guys this this has a really strange flavor to it but these bars are really good and i really recommend it so if you like this video please like the video like it like it like it and uh, subscribe on my youtube channel right there if you're new to the channel at live life and if you want to follow me on instagram at zarko Bunich, please do guys and if you want to be the first on these videos Turn on the notification bell right there. You will be notified when the video is up. And guys, I hope you have a great day. Great night. Whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Peace.